you thought I was at a cricket stadium, right? No, no, no. I am at the Ericsson booth at IMC 2024. Now, I'm going to do much better than take you to a cricket stadium because the things I am going to do here are going to absolutely blow your mind. This is 5G, 6G, AI, and a whole lot more demos. What do we do with this with 5G and a whole lot more? This is an epic journey and we are just getting started. You've seen many VR glasses, many AR implementations, but this is the kind that really takes the game forward. So what is this? This is where you go to a cricket stadium. Let's say you go to watch any sports match, right? And instead of it just being a small tool for you to see something more, this takes your experience to a completely new level. Through this, you'll be seeing the normal game. But in and around you, so many other things keep coming up. For instance, who's the bowler? Who's the batsman? What are their stats? You can call it up at any time. For a minute or two, if you'd gone, let's say, to get a snack, you can come back and immediately put these on and you missed a big moment, press a button, you'll see a replay. Every ball can be replayed in slow motion and you can even get amazing holograms that are actually playing cricket for you out there, replicating every single scene. And the best part, what I like, is this is actually happening with 5G, that's what Ericsson is showing. And all of it happening in real time, no latency at all. So you saw an incredible demo of what your experience is going to be when you go and see a cricket match or any other sports. But how are they doing it? How is 5G being able to give that level of an experience? Because you know, 5G networks, while fantastic, but imagine the kind of 5G, the latency, this is happening with something called 5G slicing. Now I know it's a term that is very, very complex, 5G slicing and all of that. So I'm going to meet up with Ludwig from Ericsson to find out a little bit more. What is slicing? How will these experiences happen? How can enterprises take care of slicing to make their business go completely to a new level? All of that in this conversation. All right, that was pretty interesting, right? So, so is, is cricket something that you enjoy? I love it. Yeah. No, 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 no. only because you're in India. Or are no. You, are you serious? No, no, no. So I'm I'm from Canada. We do something similar. You know, baseball. Yeah. You know, that's big in North America. Quite different, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit longer I, game here. A bit longer little game. bit longer yeah. for sure, right? We can probably learn from each other. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, coming from a, a demo like this, what I was yeah. really interested in talking to you about was uh, getting down to, this is cool, this is fantastic, go yeah. to a stadium and you have uh, an, a very, very enhanced experience. But uh, I think there's something you want to say to all uh, the people in India in Hindi. Do you want to try that right now? Uh, well, yeah. we're at India Mobile Congress. And? May I'm see Abkar Kush Hu. And it took him all of five seconds to learn that. So can you imagine this is, he's, he, he's absorbing things from here. But you know what I want to talk to you about, which is really in interesting for me, is mm. something that a lot of people in India may not even be familiar with. And yeah. That's the term slicing. Slicing, so yeah. Can you just give us the, the layman, easy way of understanding what is 5G slicing? I mean, let's, let's start here with what we just saw, okay. because this uh, cricket match actually uses slicing. Okay. And slicing is very simple. It means that we create multiple networks on the same networks. Because, you know, you and me today, and actually practically everyone at the show, we have exactly the same experience on our mobile phones. And that is a missed monetization opportunity. Because maybe, if we're looking at something like this, we want to have a perfect experience. And for perfect experience, we need to provide quality to our customers. Okay. And that's what we do with slicing. So slicing is effectively creating one network for a particular service or even one network for a particular individual. So you can do it infinite amount of times. And some of our customers worldwide have already started to do this. So T-Mobile in US, for example, they've got 15 slices in the network. Okay. Singtel in Singapore, okay. 75 slices in the network. Oh. And you can scale this infinitely. So, so, so it's still the same network. Does it take away from the performance, the ability, the speeds? Is this slice, yeah. it, it's getting a much, much better performance. You're, you're actually it's, more or less really, customizing it for, let's yeah, say, this cricket. Yeah, you're customizing okay. it. You're customizing it for that. So, so does it take away from the rest of the network? Because no, they not, not really, because everyone has different needs. So it's basically freeing up uh, capability, which is there already but providing it to the subscribers or the services that they need it. Okay. So again, this cricket match, you know, we were the cons consumers. We were the ones that were using the service. But broadcasters use this as well. 
So we work with Sony, for example. And you know at Sony, what they used to do on their broadcast cameras, they used to either bring in a satellite uh, track to make sure that they had the capability there, or they would be uh, putting in a private network, which we see here. Okay, the Ericsson but, private 5G. But okay, this is right. actually quite complex and big, uh, clunky equipment. It gives the perfect uh, service, but slicing is a much easier way to, to do. So then you can, with the network, what Sony used to do is they would add, um, like it's a module on top of their broadcast cameras. And do you know how many SIMs it had? Uh, I know. Uh, it would usually have three. Yes, or, or from what we used to do also, I've even seen a five SIM. Yeah, 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 you could, exactly, you could have many. Right. Usually would be multiple, and then the device would s select the network is, that is the best, yeah? yeah? Absolutely. It would select the network. So by providing slicing, you could have one SIM in the network, in, in the device, and then that would provide perfect service. So, and this, as you said, can be for an enterprise, it can be for an uh, individual event, only yeah. for that amount of time that you actually wanted, let's say, the stadium experience. And it can also be for a consumer. Exactly. So if I want a very, very enhanced level of what I need it for, yeah. it can actually be a network that is specifically made for a particular set of consumers. Yeah, this is really the cool thing, that you can have it either continuous, meaning that you set up a permanent slice. Some of our customers do this for, for government. They want to have a secure slice that always provides the best service. It's a government slice for any type of public service, but then you have other event-based slices that you might have for a few days, or like IMC. Let's say that you want to create the slice just for IMC, you could, you could do that as well. And uh, the cool thing, if you take it from an India context, this is going to start to happen now. Because now we have 5G in the country, and even more important, we have 5G standalone. So 5G standalone allows this possibility to slice the network, okay. but it also has one other important capability, which is uh, exposure. So exposure allows you to dynamically create slices on the fly. Okay. So you want to have one right now, you push a button. So for example, you click on YouTube. YouTube could have a premium service where YouTube has this perfect slice when you click the button. That, 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 so is that really pretty much becomes so, pressing YouTube is also the yeah. button to get that particular exactly. thing. Exactly, so, so you don't even know okay. that you're initiating a slice, but okay. what you do know is that you're buying a premium subscription or premium service wow. when you click okay. the button. Okay, okay so, so, so why hasn't India been able to do this? If, if Singtel has 75 slices, if this is a proven business case, then what's stopping us? Actually, nothing is uh, stopping. It's, uh, it is already starting to happen. Some of our customers have already started to slice the network. Okay. But remember, we're still we're still building 5G in, uh, in India. It's, you need a bit of you know, large uh, coverage because as soon as you go outside of a 5G and particular 5G SA coverage area, then all of a sudden you cannot do this uh, service. Can you explain private 5G networks again? Is this an uh, enterprise that can have, let's say, uh, a, a massive, massive factory somewhere in India and they have 20,000 people working there? Yeah. Would there be a private 5G network created for them? Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly that. So, so some, uh, some enterprises, and particularly the larger ones, they could afford to build their own 5G network. Right. Wi-Fi is quite cumbersome to utilize. It's, uh, you need you know, many devices to cover the area. 5G is more simple. And some of the bigger companies, they're a bit sensitive about data going out of the network. So they would be more interested to build a private network where all of the capability and the data, the sensitive data, is on premise. And anything from India that is becoming a, uh, something to take to the rest of the world, in the enterprise world, are we, are we leading somewhere? Are we showing something that no one else has done till now? I think what uh, India really is doing, you can feel it here in the event, everyone is getting together. You know, universities, uh, startups, uh, big uh, uh, vendors like us, uh, the operators, everyone is here. And we're building things together. And I see in India, there's a lot of homegrown innovation that's happening. So I do expect that if there's any market that is uh, vibrant, it's, it's really here. Okay. Great, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank All you. Right. My pleasure.